Good morning. I did not get to make it to church today. I wanted to spend just a little bit of time telling you ways that you can further, and don't get me wrong when I say this, it doesn't have to just be my church, okay? I'm proud of my church, so that's the reason why I'm sharing this with you. You should be a part of a body that believes in you, prays for you, uplifts you, encourages you, and helps you through the hard times. And I'm going to get all emotional. I'm never going to say that when I attended another church across town that I attended the wrong church because I didn't. I was where I was supposed to be for that period of time, and I still love that body and love those people tremendously. But for years, my mother kept saying, I don't know why you don't just go to that man of war church of God. It's much closer to me and much easier for me to get to. And one Wednesday night, I decided um, my friend Patty had moved there after she lost her husband because, well, reasons. Um, that's her business, and I am not going to go through with it, go into detail. But that's where she had been saved and where she had grown up, and God brought her full circle. And I'm not originally from Lexington. I am originally from Radcliffe. I'm originally from Middlesbrough and Pineville. So when I came to Lexington, I originally planned to go to the Man of War Church, but at, that was part of the time when I became navigationally challenged. So one day when I came off of the exit coming back from my mother's house, I saw the old Paris Road Church of God, and it was very close to my home at the time. And so I went there, and I found the most amazing people, um, two of which... Um, were I'd have never I'd have never known just by meeting them um, how wealthy I'll put it uh, and I don't mean to use that as anything other than just truth you tend to think of wealthier people as being a little bit more um in their own circles, I guess, for a lack of a better way of putting it. But the, the two, a couple of the wealthiest people in that church chose to befriend me. And it was the most awesome blessing um, because they stayed with me and they worked with me, worked side by side with me through some really hard times. goodness. I wish there was a way to turn my phone off whenever I'm doing videos because without fail, the man calls me. Um, anyway, um, eventually we moved on the other side of town and after quite a battle, um, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave the Old Paris Road Church of God and have them feel like I left um, for any other reason than I felt led. And um, so finally I decided I would just visit. I had visited a few other churches on the district. And I attended, growing up, I attended the Radcliffe Church of God. And even whenever I would not 
lived there and we would come to visit or I would come to visit a friend or we moved back there, I could pull in the, dry, in the parking lot of the Radcliffe Church of God and be home, much like I can today. Um, I'm still in contact with some of their minister, minister, minister's staff. And so, um, whenever I finally decided that I was going to go ahead and visit the Man of War Church of God, I had told my friend, I said, you know, save me a seat, I'm coming. And, you know, that was at the same time that anxiety became a huge part of my life. As soon as I pulled up into the parking lot of the Man of War Church of God on the corner of Trent Boulevard, Boulevard, goodness, saying words would be nice, and Man of War, as soon as my car hit the parking place, I felt like I was home. The kind of home that I hadn't felt since I was in Radcliffe. That's not to discredit any other church that I've been a part of because I love all of them dearly. What it's just simply to say is that you know when you're where you belong. I grew up because all of us went to youth camp and various different things and we were all in the same circles. So I grew up with several of these people and it was home. And after the service, I sent my pastor a message. And I said, I'm home. I said, I don't want any hard feelings between this church and the other church that I attended, OPR. But my membership needs to be here. I need it moved to here. Because this is home. This is where I belong. Now, as often as I can, which isn't very much, I do go back. And I do try to attend a revival service with them. As well as other churches on the district. It's not nearly as much as I would like. <coughs> oh, pardon me. That's why I'm home today. I've been in migraine pain for far too many days, but we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, what I wanted to show you, this is, I talked to you about um, the Reese Across America and I feature our videos, our live videos from our services every week. And um, I try to keep up with them the best that I can on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, but our, our website is amanawarchurch.org. I feature it on my channel quite a bit. So I wanted to just take a look, let you take a look at our website. That's our, this is our, this is MJ. He's our, um pastor's son and pastor this is our choir at one point in the middle right here that's our pastor um i've never met a kinder man i remember whenever i first knew of him it, i was at camp meeting and they used to tease him he's an artist they used to tease him about just sitting around drawing wildcats because um, he is a kentucky fan but we couldn't be blessed with a better staff all of our staff are partially volunteers that work under people that have um, degrees in special places. Our music team, our music ma minister is Carnegie Hall trained. Um, 
we are so blessed to have her. She's a pastor's daughter, but her credentials, you know, that's, there's pastor's daughter and then there's credentials. And both of them mixed together for a wonderful anointed worship session leader. So uh, what I wanted to do is to show you our website and it says I'm next. It says next steps sermons which mean that if you don't get them on either Facebook or Twitter or um, YouTube you can go at any time to this website and goes, I don't even know how far back. Um, it used to be whenever I had trouble sleeping, or and it still is when my pain is unbearable. I come to this page. Knock it off, you two. I'm, I apologize, my animals are misbehaving. Um, but I'll just let the sermons play back to back to help fill my mind with positive oh sorry and then of course we have an events and then we have online giving and the reason why I wanted to bring this to your um, attention I'm going to show you how this works if you decide you want to do online giving for my church, um, there's a method to get hold of the church. Um, this is not a fly-by-night church, so if you make a donation, it's accounted for. Um, everything is done to where we can see it, you know, as the as the church body. But you have the off the opportunity to label it as tithe, label it as offering, label it as seed money, missions toward the, towards the Church of God, other, say like you want to send a special love offering to the pastor or something of that nature, that's what the other is. And then here we have the Lost Sheep Building Fund, which is our building fund for our new sanctuary that we're getting ready to break ground on. Oh, excuse me. And, of course, there's our church information. I'm sure I probably already showed you contact information from the church and our pastor. Now, don't get a wild hair and contact my pastor about me. Y'all know why? It ain't going to do you a bit of good. Just that simple. He knows. He knows I'm broken and he knows I'm a work in progress. And he's okay with it. He and I talk on the on regularly, or me and his son talk, or me and his daughter talk, or me and his daughter-in-law talk. So don't think you're going to get cute and tattle on me because you're wasting my time and you'll waste my pastor's time. And that's just not cool. Anyway, that's just because there are people that are on YouTube that would do something like this. I only wanted to share this with you because I wanted to share namely the online giving and the sermons. And when you click on the sermons, as soon as it pulls up, this is today's sermon. I haven't got to listen to it yet. I got to listen to the worship portion, but I didn't I haven't got to listen to anything else. There are um as you can see on this side, there are seri well, series archives. You can watch live from here. Um, Living on Purpose, which is our Wednesday night service that goes over the radio. Sunday School Lessons with MJ, which is fun. MJ is a vast wealth of knowledge that is squished into about 30 minutes. Um, and then there are Sunday messages. So I just want to invite you, if you just think that you might just want to hear, through here you can even, you can 
and moving the mouse and not paying attention to where the camera is. If you want to browse a series, you can do that. If you want to browse a speaker, um, you can do that. And if you want to browse topics, you can do that. So, there you go. This is my church's website. I invite you more than anything to watch our live services if you can't, because, and if you live in, in the area where I live, which obviously is Lexington, um, I, I don't care. This is my hometown. This is my home now. Um, and I don't care if you know it. I live in Lexington. I live in Kentucky. Woohoo! Um, there's not much you can do with that information. And you certainly can't hurt me because I'm protected under a veil of God's protection. So you can try, but you're not going to win. So anyway... This is just what I wanted to bring to you for this part of this video. So y'all have a great day. I'm going to put this together and I hope you enjoy it. Be blessed. And I know I've given y'all a really great, that's my dresser. We'll go from down there, down here because there's so much stuff on top of it. We are entering into Purge 2019. We're we'll into that in another video. So there are some things that are like there to be purged. Be blessed. Know that God loves you. And I am the mayor's daughter. I'll see you in the next video.